Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have my college morning routine for spring 2019. These are the steps that I take to get ready before I head out to class, so I really hope that you guys enjoy, and let's just jump into it. So the first thing that I do every single morning before I start getting ready is make my bed. I make my bed right away to prevent myself from climbing back into it. I used to do that in the past, so now I just get up, make my bed so there's no laziness and I don't start running late. So I will leave all my bed details listed down below for you guys, but my comforter is from Kate Spade and the pillows are from Time Los Angeles, H&M, TJ Maxx, and Home Goods. just a wide variety. I really love decorative pillows and I love makeup decor. If you guys want to see more into my decor and stuff like that definitely go check out my dorm tour so that is my bed all made I love it it's so cozy I make sure the sheets and everything are tucked extra tight because that's just how I like my bed <laughs> Heading on into the bathroom, it is now time to brush my teeth. I really love the Crest 3D white toothpaste. I've been using it for years now. And then I also have the Oral-B electric toothbrush, which I've been using for a few months and I actually really like. I just feel like my mouth is cleaner than when I use a traditional toothbrush. I am about to put in my contacts, so look away if you guys don't like the look of people touching their eyes. But these are the contacts I wear. These are the Dailies Aqua Comfort Plus. Daily contacts have just been the best for me in my eyes. They are so comfortable and I love them a lot. Some days can be a struggle with putting in contacts as you guys can see, but most days it's a breeze. I've been wearing contacts for years now and this is the solution that I use. It is from Sam's Club. It's very comfortable and a very great value. Now it is time for hair, and typically most days I do straighten my hair. I know it's not the best for your hair, but I just feel so much more put together when my hair is straight and sleek and when it's done. But when I don't have time, I do feel pretty comfortable wearing my hair natural. This is my natural hair, if you guys were wondering, after it like air dries overnight and I brush it out, this is what it looks like. I also put heat protectant in the night before when it's still wet after the shower. Just wanted to point that out, I don't skip it, I just put it in at night, and then when I straighten my hair I use the Conair Infinity Pro Straightener again another product that I've been using for years and I really like it I haven't had any issues and I feel like it just straightens my hair really quickly I do have thin more fine hair so I would say straightening my hair takes maybe 10 minutes tops it really doesn't take me that long And just to give you guys a little before and after here, so your right side is my hair done and straightened and your left side that you're seeing is my natural hair. Again, I just think it looks so much better, so much more sleek and put together and I just went ahead and finished up the rest of my head. Again, it usually takes me only about 10 minutes tops and this is what my finished hair looks like. I just go ahead and brush through it and it should be good to go. I never use any additional product or anything once my hair is actually all done and straightened. Now heading over to the kitchen for some breakfast. I love avocado toast. It's my go-to morning breakfast on a school day. So this is the most beautiful avocado I literally think I've ever seen you guys. It was so perfect, but I only use one half per like two slices of toast. So I'll just store the other half with the pit in a Ziploc bag to keep it nice and fresh. This right here is the best topping for avocado toast. This is the Trader Joe's Everything But The Bagel Seasoning. I'm a huge fan of bagels and sometimes I crave them, but I shouldn't be eating all of those carbs and this seasoning makes it taste like I'm eating a bagel. It is so delicious on avocado toast, you guys. Trust me and definitely go get it if you have access to a Trader Joe's. And now it is coffee time. I am that girl that if I don't have coffee in the morning, I will start to get a caffeine withdrawal headache around 2 p.m., 3 p.m. So I always make sure to have my coffee in the morning. I love this little single serve Keurig for my dorm. And if you guys were wondering, I usually like Green Mountain coffee the best, but I usually kind of go with what's on sale, what the store has. So this is the Target Classic Roast, and I find it to be really yummy as well. Eating breakfast in the morning is usually prime time for me to catch up on video comments. I really love interacting with you guys and it's really important to me that I reply to all of your comments and get back to you guys if you have any questions. I really just like to make sure that is priority on my channel. So I usually reply to you guys while I'm eating breakfast. I always take the time to check up on my Instagram, do my Snapchat streaks, all of that good stuff. Pretty much anything that I need to catch up with on my phone, emails, etc. I always do in the morning while I am enjoying my breakfast and my coffee. Mm -hmm. 
When it comes to getting dressed, I always like to keep my outfits very casual and simple. I was never really huge into fashion. Of course, I always like to look nice and put together, but I'm a typical like jeans and a shirt kind of girl. I really just like to be comfortable. So this shirt is from H&M. It was literally like $5. I love this t-shirt. My jeans are from Lucky. I wear a size 31 and these are my shoes, my favorite sneakers that I've been wearing a lot. They are Adidas Superstars and I have these in a size eight and a half and I typically wear wear a nine to a nine and a half just for reference they do run a little bit on the bigger side Starting off with the makeup routine, if you guys want to see something super in-depth, I did just recently upload a full college makeup routine here on my channel. I will have the card right here, but just to talk you guys through this version really quickly, I started off by priming my face with the Smashbox Primer Water, as well as the Maybelline Master Prime, and now for foundation, I'm going in with my favorite L'Oreal Freshwear in the shade 420 True Beige. My concealer typically does change day to day, but today I'm going in with Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Vanilla as well as ColourPop Fair 008. The Too Faced one is like just a good match for me, but I do like to go ahead and lighten it up around the cheekbone area, so that is why I go in with the Fair ColourPop one, and then I'm just blending this all out with my L'Oreal face sponge. To set that concealer and foundation, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 10 Fair Light. Just a quick side note, I have been absolutely loving this new powder brush I've been trying out. This one is from Sigma, and it is their Large Powder F20. This is so soft. It really just like spreads out the powder so nicely, and I just thought I would give it a quick shout out because I've been really liking it. And now for bronzer, of course, you guys already know, I'm just going in with my classic Anastasia Rosewood Bronzer. My favorite go-to blush recently has been the Wet n Wild Color Icon in the shade Keep It Peachy. I really love the shade of this. You guys know I like peachy anything, but it gives a really nice warm flush to the cheek. Then I'm just going to go ahead and blend everything together because I went a little heavy-handed with the bronzer. And for my highlighter today, the best part of the makeup routine, of course, I'm using Ofra's Rodeo Drive. giving my face a nice spray using MAC Fix Plus just to make sure all those powders are melted into the skin. And then I'm gonna work on the brows using the Profusion Brow Powder in Light to Medium and then outlining them with the Tracetique Brow Pencil in Americano. Like I mentioned earlier on these days, I like to keep the eyes nice and simple, so I'm going in with my Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara, and my lash curler is from Tweezerman, if you guys were wondering. And to finish up the makeup look today, I'm going in with the MAC Lip Liner in the shade Boldly Bare, another one of my go-tos. Pretty much all the makeup you guys see me use here are my favorites, just my easy go-to products that I know are going to work for me. And then topping that off with the Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Fussy. I am the queen of getting mascara all over my lids when I do my mascara application. So I'm just going ahead and cleaning that up with a Q-tip and that's my makeup in the morning. 
For my accessories, I wear these same two rings every single day. This is the Pandora Princess ring given to me by my boyfriend for our two year anniversary. And this little Stella and Dot ring has my initials engraved in it given to me by my mom for Christmas last year. So definitely two staples. I wear them every single day. And then I definitely take some time to decide on my earrings. I feel like earrings just really bring together the outfit. So I think today I'm going to go with the gold hoops. To finish up my outfit, I'm just throwing on this really cute lightweight spring jacket. This is from H&M. The weather here in New York changes like crazy, so one day it'll be 30 degrees and then 65 the next. On this particular day, it was really nice out, so I went with this little cute spring olive green jacket, which I love. And then just finishing up everything with some perfume. This is my absolute favorite daily perfume, which is Victor & Rolf Flower Bomb. The last thing I do before I head out the door is grab my proper notebooks depending on the classes I have that day. I'll pack my backpack and then one thing I always have with me is my planner. My planner is so essential between YouTube and going to school. I always have to have it and the backpack that I use for school is the Longchamp Le Pelage Large Tote and then I'm out the door. So that is going to complete my college morning routine. I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure you you guys are subscribed to my channel before you leave i would love to have you guys here as part of my little youtube fam if you don't want to miss out on any of my future videos click that notification bell down below and you'll get notified every single time that i upload a new video as always thank you guys so much for watching and of course i will see you in my next one bye guys